Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Evoc 20PS vocoder and polysynth. So it's a vocoder and it's a polysynth. You can use it as a vocoder or a polysynth. So first thing I'm going to do here is just create this track and this will give us the vocoder. If we open up our uh, plugin browser here at the bottom, you will see Evoc PS. We double tap it here and then you can bring up any of these kind of um, classic vocoder presets that you've got here. So you've got vintage vocoder and then you've got synthesizer, warped vocoders. We've got synthesizers. If we choose this synthesizer patch, for example, this is one of the synth sounds. It's fully functional synth as well and vocoder. Of course, you can control everything you like now. We're going to just go back here and choose vintage vocoder and i'm just gonna go with this clean voice vocoder now how to set this up right okay so let's do that first shall we let's close our preset browser let's close our vocoder we first of all need to add some other tracks because the vocoder needs some input so i'll just go plus i'm going to choose this which is my microphone and if, right, the thing to remember here is, we don't need that for a moment. Things to remember here is if I press monitoring now, you'll hear a slight difference in sound. That's because I'm now monitoring just through Logic. Okay, and it's quite quiet. I'm gonna make some adjustments to the sound. I've just turned AUM down. I'm gonna go switch my compressor on here, open the compressor, and I'm just gonna bring up the makeup gain like that so you can hear it a little bit better. You can also hear background noise, right? So. I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a Bruce Free. So I'm just going to go here. Bruce Free is one I use a lot. So this is by Clevgrand. I'm going to double tap it. And all I'm going to do is be quiet. And I'm just going to hold this here just for a couple of seconds. And then Bruce Free has learned that and now you'll have no more noise. It's ideal. So if, if you haven't come across Bruce Free before, there it is. I use it all the time. OK, cool. Cool beans. Let's go back. So now we have uh, our vocal channel set up correctly. That's absolutely fine. Now, to connect your vocoder to your voice. OK, so this is a little bit different. If I arm vocoder for record and I... One, two, one, two. You're not going to... That's all you're going to get right. So what we need to do is open our vocoder here open a full instrument where it says side chain we're going to go with audio and audio one and now the vocoder is going to be receiving midi input from the keys now if i play the keys you're not going to hear nothing at all the transport needs to be running for the vocoder to work can you hear that okay so once you've done that, you can stop the transport. We need to make some adjustments to the vocoder, of course. So let's run the transport. What? One, two, one, two, one, one, one. And it's usually just a matter of bringing up the output level. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Classic vocoder sound. Now, you can either leave, if you switch your audio off, right, you won't hear anything from the vocoder. So I'm just going to turn, I'm just going to turn my AUM monitoring back up, switch this one off. But now you'll hear if I'm playing keys, I'm not going to get any vocodering until I re-engage this one. I'm just going to turn AUM back down again. One, two, one, two. Beep, bop, beep, bop, boom, bop, bop, boom. If you don't want to hear your voice while you're vocoding, whereas I definitely wouldn't want to hear mine, all I need to do is turn the volume down here. And now I can monitor just the vocoder. And you can hear. Right, let's just go back to Awesome stuff, right? Okay, so another cool way to use vocoders is to send the vocoder through something like a drum machine or something, and that's really, really cool. 
Joe's dying to laugh when you do it seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Because all joking is me going jim ba picky billy boop ba boom spam bum beam. Anyway, so what we need to do now is go in here and we'll set up a actually we don't even need to do that. Let's just go to our browser here and let's choose some loops and let's choose some drums and maybe find some uh drums that sound nice. Okay, that sounds cool. All we need to do is drag this and drop it here, not here, here. Okay, let's engage our loop as well. And the same thing as before, we're now gonna send that vocoder to the Brooklyn style beat. So I could go one, two, let's play this. But we don't wanna hear me. So I'm gonna close that. Sorry, not that one. I'm going to close my microphone down and just record some basic bippy boppy vocoder in. sure why that didn't record in <laughs> right so uh, uh, joe look a professional at work here, you? <laughs> you will be <laughs> right oh look, let me just delete that i think it's probably because i needed some input monitoring on right all right so one 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 let's just try that again just for fun oh hang on hang on So I'm going to delete this as well. Okay. And let's just make sure I'm monitoring here and here. Okay. I'm just going to see if this works out. Okay. So let me just record this. So there you go. That's how you record the audio in it. Well, you just make sure you start at the right time and get it right. Use accounting. But that's how you'd record the audio so the vocoder plays back properly. Let's just delete that. And then we're going to now send it to the Brooklyn style beat. So again, we need to make sure vocoder is selected here. Just open the instrument, double tap. And this time in the side chain, you choose uh brooklyn style beat because it's an audio track but you can choose inputs and stuff in fact if you're using like the the drum machines you can send a vocoder to any actual individual drum that you want which is also really cool so now theoretically theoretically Ensemble sounds nice. So it's a matter of just playing around with the controls, and of course. You can change that patch anytime you want for something um, else, maybe like. Um
just remember that you'll probably need to adjust. And there are some other patches as well, like this warped vocoder, for instance, which has been set up specifically to deal with percussive input like this. So there you go. There's basically how you set up your Fogo vocoder. Don't forget that if you want to, let's just delete that one again, just to run through the vocal part of it. We'll open up this. We'll choose our audio, which is channel one, one, two. And once we press play, now we're not gonna hear this because it's thin now. One, two, one, two. Now we've changed the preset, so let's change our preset back. Let's maybe go with something like um, one, two, and it it is polyphonic. So one, two, one, two, one. Let's try one, two, 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 one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Now all you're hearing is the component. Make sure you turn the component level down for your audio input. And then you'll be able to apply all these effects to your vocoder as well. So what I just meant there was that if you now wanted to apply some extra stuff, if we go back to our plugin view, you could add in some uh, chroma verb, for instance. I'm going to turn that up the wet mix a little bit in the decay time. And then we can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there you go. There is how you set up and use your vocoder. Now you can. Sorry about that. You can literally vocode anything you want. You know, it's it doesn't matter. It's how you set it up when you're in your vocoder and you go into the instrument. It's the side chain where you want that vocoder to go. You can have many vocoders if you want to and have it all vocodery. If that's your bag, man. But there you go. But vocoding beats is fun. But you can also vocode sequences. You can, like you said, I showed you, you can record in your voice on the vocoder as long as your input is running. You'll be good to go. And one, two. Yeah. You must make sure that you've got your levels to trigger the vocoder as well. And then once it's recorded, you can you can turn that down. Anyway, top job. Cool beans. Hope you enjoyed that. And I will see you later. Yes, sir.